Alright, so. What does he have now? Oh, a oblivion ring. Goodbye, Skyfisher. And he is just, his draws have just been fantastic. Mine have just been terrible. Alright, so I guess we will uh, block the cattle and we'll take another four. Oh, my word. Oh, well, we drew another land. At least I'll have land for the foreseeable future, so we'll go ahead and get this mountain back in, and I think here we will cast Divination. Maybe I can find now. No, more land. Now I'm getting all my land. Mm. Blocker would have been great there. A lot of things that would have been great there, but no dice. No, I'm not going to attack. Yeah, I... Sure, I pile them on, why not? Guess I'm taking another four here? Yeah, another four. Alright, so I've got to find something this turn or that's game. And I don't draw another burn spell. Well, okay. Go ahead and run that in so I've got the most possible mana. What are my options here? Um, I don't have to do anything right yet since anything I'm going to be casting is going to be an instant. Um, Stagger Shock, Take Care, then a Cattle and the Visionary, I suppose. But again, that's not something I need to do on my turn. I could just wait, see what he does. Mm. Yeah, and no, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Hit the cattle here. That way, if he attacks, I can block. Well, no, I guess I can't block the visionary. Hmm. That might have been a mistake. Well, I guess it's fine. I mean, I'll take, what, three here? Yeah, hopefully he doesn't have another vines. But, of course, if he had that, he probably would have killed me last turn. So here, obviously, can't block the visionary. And I'll drop to one. Huh. But, you know, for the sake of the video, we'll move on. I suppose there's some very slight chance I can recover. So we'll get rid of the visionary. Alright. Oh, and now I draw a lightning bolt. Well, okay. That will let me take care of one of those sanctifiers. Um, what do I want to do here? Got a couple different options. Could drop the mnemonic wall, but... Yeah, if I use that planes, that would give me a mana free. Let's think about this. Well, I'm running short on time, too. Down to my last ten minutes. We'll go ahead and take out one of the sanctifiers. Drop the planes. And run out the wall. And that'll let me... Yeah. Just grab that lightning bolt back. And... Hopefully I can avoid taking any damage. Could have attacked there, but... If he's got some way of taking out that wall, which... I guess it's unlikely, but still rather just hold hold it down with two. No, not take any more risk than I have to. Oh, that's nice. Drop that in. Oh, now I'm at three life. Well, that's better than one, I guess. So here, golly though, I just don't have a lot to do. Um, yeah, I think I'll just pass the turn. And we'll wait and see what he's going to do. Finds a crossroads of his own, sure. Gain all the life you need. And he's not going to do anything, it looks like. So we'll just take another turn. And now, you know, like I said, now I'm just getting lots of land. Go ahead and play the depths, see what I can get here. 
Hmm. Well, Lawn Missionary will certainly give me some life, and the Flame Blush is nice too. So that's not a total bust. Hopefully I can remember not to pop my fetch lands. Now here, the question is, do I want to use the Trade Winds and bounce the Seagate Oracle back into my hand and recast it? Um, I think actually I will. The question is, though, what of his am I going to bounce? I guess getting rid of that Trace of Abundance is worth it. But yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, you know what, though? It, it gives Shroud. That won't work. No. Forget it. A little bit of a telegraph there, but what can you do? So I guess really the question I have to ask myself here is, am I going to win? So I'm not going to win. I should really just concede now and go on to game three before I waste any more time. I'll give it another round, see what happens, see what he's got here. Okay, he's gaining a whole bunch of life, and he finds a journey. Well, I guess now's a good time to, uh, yeah, now's going to be a great time to use that trade wins. Yeah, he gains four life, but that's not the end of the world. We will go ahead and run out the trade wins. Bounce that back into my hand, and I guess we are just bouncing a land of his. Take that untapped planes. His journey does nothing. Gains for life. And we go on. No creatures, so that's nice. Holding on to something, but not too worried about it. Alright, so we will go ahead here and uh, get that life in play. It's Four life is very nice. And run out the Seagate Oracle as well. Obviously Flame Slash and Island Happy to shuffle that island away. And otherwise, um, you know, shuffle once, shuffle twice. It's all kind of the same thing, I guess. No real reason to hang on to it. Might as well filter out the land. Grab another mountain. And pass the turn. You know, I think I'm just, you know, Right or wrong, I'm just going to keep playing here. I think I've, maybe I've stabilized a little bit. I've got some pretty decent card advantage built up. Oh, and he finds a way to get that journey back into his hand. That's a little awkward, but nothing I can do about that. So he'll bounce that journey, and we'll see what he's going to take. I suppose the Seagate Oracle. That would be what would make sense. That's unfortunate, but we'll at least get rid of the Skyfisher. And see what he's going to take. Shocking. And he takes the Oracle. Well, that makes sense. Alright, but still don't have any creatures. Tell you what, if I could get a Sanctifiers out, I would be sitting pretty